yeah, this is the main entrance of the house, uh, the, the cold house, and, and these are the pictures of people who were in prison Muslim. It's the famous prison in, in Tripoli. So, uh, Muslim, it's called the Muslim Massacre. These people have been shot and killed in one day. That was in uh, 1998 or 1999, exactly. And uh, People, their families, when they knew that the revolution started, they, they were like free to 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 to, uh, to protest. So they brought their families and their sons and pictures, and they put them here to like show the people like these people they were shot just because they were against the Abu regime. 1,200 they were shot in the pr in prison. It's called Muslim massacre. And these are like some other pictures of some people who are fighting in the front line and every time somebody gets killed, somebody dies, they bring the picture and put it here. So if you, if you see, there are a lot of pictures and every time somebody gets killed, murdered, you just put the picture. Some pictures here, like they, they write the name and the date, the born date and the, the date that they have been killed. Say this is Muhammad. Was born in 1955. He went to the front line. Uh, no, no, this is this is this is not the front line. This is when Gaddafi took some of them to Chad to fight there in Chad. And people, Libyan people, they go and fight the Chad. They were being forced to do that. So he was killed there in Chad. He didn't want to go fight, and he's not in the military. He's just ordinary, and he's he's been forced to fight there. So he was born in 1955, and he went to Chad in the 16th of October 1986. Yeah. This is in Brega. This is uh, during the revolution. His name is Idris Muhammad Awaitat Jarrah Awadi. They put his picture. This is really cool. I just noticed that right now. This is his son. This is his father. His father died in Chad, and his son died in the in, in, in the revolution. That's why they put now figured out. That's why they put the, put, put them both in the, in the same picture. So his name is Idris Muhammad Awaitat. He's the son of Muhammad Awaitat. It's the same name. This is the son of this guy. This guy died in Chad. This guy died. In, in uh, the 15th of June 2011, he was born in 1985. He was killed in the Brega. He was fighting in the front line. And this picture shows in the in the middle the picture of uh, Omar al Mukhtar, who was the guy, the leader of the Rib Libyan of the Libyan fighters against the Italian occupation. So it shows history. This is Omar Mukhtar against the Italian uh, occupation fighting. This guy went to Chad. He was being forced. He has been forced to go to Chad to fight there. And this is his son, and he fought, he he fought he fought for for Gadda uh, against Gaddafi's regime in the war. So this picture shows like the whole like the whole period of time, starting from the Italian occupation till the revolution, until their uh, their son died. Yeah. And if you see like, all these pictures are for other people who died in the, in the revolution. See, this is really a, another young guy. His name is Ahmed Faraj Shibli. He was born in 1978. He was killed on the 6th of, 6th of March 2011 in Nusrada, on the west side of Libya. And he's from there. This is the main entrance of the house court. See these three doors? Now the, the main entrance of the house court. This place was so crowded during the revolution. Nobody, it's like so difficult to get in here because of the crowdness of the people. And they separated the place, like half of the place was for women and half of it was for men. They were standing there. My mom used to stand here with my, with my uh, sister and they were protesting and cameras of the channels, of the old the channels, they were like, taking all these photos of the woman and they were saying this is the first time for them to to be to, to, to be free to say whatever they want to say and that, that they want they don't want the regime anymore. And it was really scary because the dad is still alive and his regime was in control of the country. So this this place this is the history of the revolution in Benghazi. 
people protesting started from here. We're going to take another picture in the place where the, uh, the, the rebels used to fight against the Gaddafi's forces. It was in a specific place on the campaign of the Gaddafi regime in another place that's close to the downtown called El Birka. And, and you will see where the people used to, uh, they, they, they stood on the roundabout and they were like, with no weapons, and they were standing in front of the, uh, the, in front of the campaign and the forces, they were shooting them. They wanted them to come back, and the more they shoot, the more people come inside of the campaign. And they're using some like, you know, like TNTs and all these things. And one of them, I will, I will take a picture of him. His name is uh, uh, Dwayne. He, he put some like, uh, some uh, uh, gas, gas uh, container in the car and he drove the car and he hit the car on the wall of the campaign. So he made a huge, he died just to make a halt to the rebels to get inside the campaign and get, and, 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 uh, and, and free the, and take over the campaign. And this guy, I think he's the, one of the bravest because he sacrificed his life with his car and it was a huge explosion and it kind of confused the, uh, the Gaddafi forces because they were seeing somebody who wants to die just to like, to, to give the chance to the rebels to get inside the campaign. So we will, we will see these pictures, uh, the, where is the campaign of the Gaddafi forces and we will see the, how the wall is damaged. Now all the wall is damaged from, from shooting and from all these things and even the area in front of the campaign was, was, was damaged because they were shooting aimlessly and a lot of people were, were killed there. So.